This is Get Outdoors with Mike Russell, KTAR News on 92.3 FM. All right, let's talk some guns. Brought to you by AZ Firearms, azfirearms.com. You got to check that place out. By the way, if you have anyone from out of town, anyone, any family members, friends across the country that want to buy a gun, azfirearms.com, by the way, can sell an all all 50, right? Am I, am I saying all 50? Not just the lower 48? Yep. All 50. How about that? Including Hawaii, yes, is part of the country. Yeah, believe it or not. Believe it. It's just far away. Just deal with it. How about that? So welcome, guys. Thank you for being here. I, I, I really want to start with, with you, Cheryl, if we could, because there's a lot of stuff going on this weekend. So let's get the housekeeping out of the way. Let's say, what, what do you got going on? You got a I ton happening. I love it. I brought a list. That's, that's how much yeah, stuff sure I've got going on. Right. So right. um, we... You know, we try to be really active. One of the great things about uh, being in business is being able to help others who are, in turn, helping others. So uh, we've got a couple things going on. The Desert Dog Regional Police Canine Trials. This is the 13th annual one of these. They're out at Goodyear Ballpark. We're sponsoring that. Okay. It's so cool. It's today and tomorrow. And so what happens is they're from all over the country canine teams are coming out. They're police, military, government teams, and we're going to get to see the the handler protection. They're going to get to see agility and obstacle courses, tactical searches, narcotics and explosive searches. Yes. Oh, I mean, are things going to blow up? I want I, things to blow up. You know what? I, I didn't get the 411 Does on that. Does the dog so. start to sweat and say, red <laughs> red wire, blue wire, red, blue, red, blue? <laughs> rot, rot. No. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't gone before. This would be the first year. So I'm I'm super okay. jazzed about that. Way so cool. we're we're sponsoring that. We're not actually set up at that one. Um, so uh, the the crossroads show. We're out there. We've oh, yeah. got an information right. booth basically, Very letting cool. people know about you know what we do mm-hmm. that we also have an auction besides a gun store and that is very handy for people who are looking to buy You something. have a really cool auction by the way. The first time I went to Thank your auction you. house by the way there was a Formula 1 car there. Um yeah. It was we a real one. Too. It's not just guns. It was a real one. It's Formula 1 cars. And for you sure. have some pretty cool guns coming up. Uh, t- uh, what is it? Uh, Tuesday. Yeah, we have uh, two Colt Pythons and an HK91. They're great Really nice guns. And then go online, too, and see those. What, where can they go see those? Potofgoldestate.com. Check, check That's out her That's potofgoldestate.com. Once again, always a bad move. <laughs> Having someone in with you that has a better radio voice than you do, it is not good career. Uh, it's not good for your career. It's not the best voice when they, she wakes you up in the morning, I, though. I, I just... Okay. <laughs> Get out of bed! <laughs> Oh, thanks, honey. Oh, that was love it. that was Wonderful. sweet. That was yeah. But and anyways, then one more. We got a good one. Um, big one yes, happening today. This one so dear to my heart. Okay, okay this is Soldier's Best Friend, and yeah. I don't know how many people know about Soldier's Be- Soldier's Best Friend, but this is a group that goes to animal shelters. They rescue dogs. They train these dogs to be. Uh, a companion uh, therapy dogs and then they pair them up with uh, our soldiers that are coming back that have PTSD or traumatic brain injuries and it's just an amazing thing they say they save two lives uh, at the same time and Man, I just absolutely cool. love it well they're having their clay shoot out at Ben Avery today only and uh, we are set up out there uh, Miss Deanna is set up at our table so if you head out there tell her we said hey hey check out a good cause that that's really cool. I love Ben Avery. By the way, if, you've, if you're if you newer to the Valley or even if you've heard of Ben Avery several times, get out there. That is one of the coolest places, Carefree Highway and I-17. It is awesome. That is one of the coolest places to shoot. It I doesn't matter where you're from either. Yeah. I mean, if you're all the way out in the East Valley, go. It's worth go. your time. Right. Absolutely. It is. And so you guys are set up there thrice, three places. You guys are all ready to ro- rock and roll. We are all over the place, and uh, I just hope you all head out and, and take care of some of those uh, good causes out there. We take your calls at 602-277-5827 is the number, 602-277-KTAR. Let's go to Tom. has been waiting so patiently. Tom, thanks for calling in. Uh, you have a question about a Smith & Wesson? Yeah, hey, Mike. Uh, great show, and Arizona Firearms is the best. Uh, but Smith & Wesson, I'm, I'm trying to contemplate between a Smith & Wesson Model 69 on a 44 mag as opposed to the Ruger Red Hawk, four and a quarter inch barrel, um, you know, uh, uh, 44 mag for out back. Now, in the military, I brought my service Colt 45 back, so I do have my military service Colt 45. I want to ask if Arizona Firearms thinks that I need that 
uh, that 44 Magnum out back, which is the better, or is my 44, my 45 that I brought back from the military, my uh, issue, is that as good a gun out in the field? Tom, that's a great question. I, I do want to clarify, though, we're dealing with AZ Firearms. That's right, azfirearms.com. I know it, it does. It kind of looks like it, but it's azfirearms.com. AZ Firearms. There you go. Yeah, here's Dan. Hey, thanks for calling, Tom, and also thanks for your service. You know, the Smith & Wesson and the Ruger, they're both great guns, and what I would suggest is you try them both out. If you can go to a range, shoot them, find out what, what fits good in your hand, and go with that, because you can't go wrong with either one of them. And as far as that old, ugly forty-five you you've got, you need to bring that down and trade that in, because you don't want that anymore. <laughs> no, it's a great gun, too. No, it's, it's a great gun. It is a great and, gun. And, um, you know, they, they work well, but um, probably for out... You know, backpacking. Uh, I think the forty-four, either the Ruger or the Smith, is good. You just, and I think but it's an important. Not that big a deal on the Smith. Well, they're a little. They're a lot more than a, a Ruger. Uh, yeah. But um, you don't need to spend the money if if you feel comfortable with the Ruger. I I kind of personally like the Smith and Wesson better. They feel better in my hand. I have a bigger hand. Okay. Uh, but whatever feels good to you. You can come in and handle all the guns in the shop if you want. We have both of those, I think, in stock right now. But uh, we'll be glad to help you with that. Okay, okay. One, one last point before you go. Huh? Uh, my bo- the carry gun that I carry, Mike, uh, is a uh, Smith 380 uh, bodyguard. Do you guys like that weapon? I, you know, I I do, and but here's the here's the deal. I always say that it's the best whatever. And what Dan was kind of getting alluding to here is it's it's the best what fits in your hand. Like for me, I, I carry uh, the Security Six, the uh, 356. Uh, three, 357 Mag Security 6. That's That feels best to me. That was the, the gun that I felt most comfortable shooting. Some people deal with an air weight, things like that. There's It just depends on what feels right in your hands. I mean, even when you go into hunting, I remember I wanted a Matthews bow so bad until I shot the PSE, and I thought, wow, that actually feels better to me and saves me a lot of money. So it, it all comes down to what feels the best and what you're most comfortable with because that comfort, it trans... It, it transfers into confidence is what it does, and you need to be confident when holding a firearm. Can I also just add real quick that sometimes it's not just about the way that the grip fits in your hand. Um, being a lady, uh, I don't have a lot of the, the same hand strength and size that men do. So for ladies to just pick up their their dad's gun or their husband's gun and try to work the slide on a semi-automatic, sometimes it's just too hard. And so um, not just for you, Tom, but for the listeners in general, um, there's a lot of things that go into what we mean by good fit. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm coming out of the shop. Great show, Mike. And listen, hey, that 45 service pistols, I can't really get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know. I was just kidding you with that. I, I wouldn't get rid of it. Those are those are great guns. I All right, Tom. Thanks, thanks so much. Guys. Thanks. I appreciate I appreciate the call. Now, uh, by the way, you can also email the show at Mike at KTR.com or you can text at 411923. A couple of uh, emails came in that uh, that I want Dan to get to as well because we've had some some pretty cool questions here. Yeah, David uh, sent us an email about a 1911, but first, I mean, this guy, he was in Vietnam, and he did 21 years as a law enforcement officer. Man. Wow. Yeah. I mean, can you believe that? Yeah. Thank anyway, you for your service. Yeah, he, yeah thank you very and much. And did work at Arizona Game and Fish, by the way. I got that out of him on a reply as well. So, wow. I mean, this guy wow. has done a lot for all of us here in Arizona. Thank really you has. very thank much. Thank you, yes. Uh, you have a 1911. It's a great gun. It's a custom uh, Colt. I mean, it's from the Colt Custom Shop. And I don't think you can get a better gun than that. So uh, do you need to uh, do all the uh, working with the slide that you did? I don't think it's necessary, but, you know, it it, it doesn't hurt to, to work the action a little bit. Mm-hmm. But it's a great gun. Um, I've never experienced any problems with any Colt custom gun. Really? No. no. Okay. Never. They, they work when they come. I mean, those guns are tested and, and worked and and uh, some actions are smoothed out. They're great guns. But basically, his background though is, I mean, you pull it out of the box, you break that thing down. This is this is now a piece of you. Right. So, and that's why he did that, I believe, and give it a good thorough cleaning, good thorough once over, because you can only trust one person with a gun, and that's you. Right. So, and I do so, that with every gun right. I get. I, I take it apart, and then I go, okay. Yeah. You know, we just do that. That's what we do. <laughs> you tinker. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess that's, that's what you like to do. And what else do we get? Uh, we have a, um, a gentleman. Eric has an Egyptian. Uh, um, Madi, he wants to know if uh, you can get a um, cleaning rod for that. You know, I, they are hard to get. I don't have the exact measurement, but if you could send that to me, we would sure try to find one for you. 
Okay, send so, just send it to me. Actually, send it to Mike at right. KTR.com. Send me those measurements, and and then we'll see if we can get the get the right fit for you. I I, I always I always look to um, you when I have these types of questions, and you come back with questions that I didn't think to ask. Right. So it's it's always good here. All right. So we got uh, we got another question here to four one one nine two three. What what is the best? In, in I I know it's always relative. What is the best? But it seems to be the easiest way to ask a question. What is the best intro gun for a teenager? Because we talk about handguns, rifles. I right. mean, what do you what do you intro them with? Well, I would start them with a rifle. There's a lot more control with the rifle. It's a lot safer to start with the rifle. Okay. Uh, if they've never shot a gun before, maybe a, a Ruger 1022, something like that. Or if you really want to uh, go with the basics, get a bolt action. Extremely safe gun. You put one round in, you shoot it. Then you have to put another round in and shoot it. Until they learn the mechanics of how to handle a gun, I highly recommend that you start with that. Okay. All right. Now let's uh, let's do this. I, I want to take a break, but we're going to get back to your calls because I want I want the last segment here. I want it to be a, a little bit longer, so I'm going to break a little bit early because I want to talk about gunsmithing with you. I I have some questions, by the way, for you, and we have your questions at four one one nine two three or at six zero two two seven seven. 5827 is the number, 602-277-KTAR. Your questions for AZ Firearms Gunsmithing, next. Get outdoors with Mike Russell. KTAR News on 92.3 FM. Segment brought to you by AZ Firearms, azfirearms.com. The crew is here taking your call, 602-277-5827 is the number. And always on text, 411-923. Or you can email me at mike at ktar.com. Here's how we do it. We have a question coming in from Sharon. Sharon's got a Colt 45 from Pearl Harbor. It's got some rust damage. Sharon, how are you? I'm well. Um, I guess my question is, do I... It's got rust damage on it. I've got the original box, the original letter from the government to the gentleman that originally owned it. And um, I've been told maybe I should send it to Colt to have him refinish it. And I don't know if that's a good idea or not. And then I'm scared to death to send that. So yeah. could AZ maybe look at it, give me some pointers. Maybe they can send it. Run I just down, don't want to lose it in the mail. Run down here to the studio because I want to see it. <laughs> that I is can't. that is really cool. Yeah, I will bring it. I will bring it to you at some point and show it to you. Everything intact. That's it's cool. in a vault right now. I oh, I bet it is. It's, yes, it's vaulted. Yes, Dan. Oh, it's vaulted. Yeah, Sharon. And thanks. I haven't seen it in two years. So what I did when I got it, obtained it, is I oiled it, cleaned it the best I could. I didn't do anything harsh on it. Okay. But it was in Hawaii and it got in the humidity, so it's got rust damage. Sharon, so, you did a great job with that. That uh, just oiling it will stop the rust from uh, continuing. But I really would appreciate it if you'd let me see that gun. I, I'd like to see the history on it, the paperwork. We'll be glad to walk you through what needs to be done to the gun to keep it uh, safe and um, not have any more damage. One thing you don't want to do is have it refinished. Okay? That's what I was afraid of. Okay, good. Okay, no. thank you. And I, I'll be glad to take a look at the gun. I would like to be at the store when you do, so please ask for me. My name is Dan because, okay. uh, you know, I, I really enjoy the history of the guns. I don't have to own every one, but I sure like to see uh, what I can. And, you know, if you have the paperwork that matches it, that's really exciting to me. So I'd really appreciate it if we could talk. Yeah, and call before because I live right yeah, up the I mean, road from the shop. I want to go see it when you're there. I would yeah, love yeah. that. That is so neat. Wow. I'll well, thank- guys, I'll give you guys a week's notice out. I just have to go get it. It's not at my house. It's in a vault, literally. So um, well, perfect. everybody that sees it wants it. Well, okay. And it's it's, it's kind of cool because, I, I mean, I've got the original box. And yeah. other than it was in Hawaii and got humidity and rust, it's uh, all right. Very good, gentlemen. I shall. Um, I will get a hold of Dan, and then Dan can get a hold of you. And I appreciate the show. It's a really cool show. Hey, I appreciate that. Thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, yeah, we will look forward to seeing that gun. Let's go to August. August, you, uh, you. Let's see here. You have a Glock twenty one forty five cal. What's your question? Well, my question is uh, the, the Glock 2145 Cal Gen 4 with the high-capacity 13-round clip. I've, I've always had, when I've shot Glocks, like specifically that one, never had a problem with it. I love it. But my question is, why does it seem that so many police departments have gone to the, uh, the Glock versus uh, other uh, uh, firearms? And I'll hang up and listen for the response. All right. Thanks, August. Appreciate it. August, thanks for that. Uh, why did they change to Glocks? Well, probably the same reason you bought a Glock, because it's probably the best gun you can buy out there for defense. Really? It's, All right. They're lightweight, they're easy to carry, 
And that 45 caliber, it's a, it's a compact gun for a 45 that co- that holds 13 rounds. It's it's an amazing gun that has uh, needs very little maintenance. They're just awesome. Okay, well there you have that answer. Let's go to let's go to John. John, you're uh, we're, we're going to talk East German guns here. Okay. What's your question, John? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I've no. I have uh, uh, two uh, Easter Macrovs. Uh, from what I can tell from uh, the markings on them, uh, you know they were imported by uh, Century Arms. Uh, it looks like original manufacturer around 1961. And I'm just wondering. I, I've noticed that there's a lot of uh, replacement parts. Uh, you know that uh, I think it's the Gun Digest, the thing that looks like a telephone book. And they have different um, uh, barrels for it. You know, since it was a, uh, you know, uh, a service weapon of the uh, East German uh, secret police, do you think it would be better to keep the original barrel? You know, well, because it looks requiring. It looks like you just have one pin to push out, and you can change out the whole barrel. And they make them uh, in uh, stainless. But uh, what I've noticed is I asked them, and they say, this, these are uh, chrome-lined barrels, so which would be better, to keep the original or to go with the new stainless, you know, being new, whereas this other one would be, uh, you know, 50-some years old? Well, I think I would keep the original barrel on the gun. That's a chrome-lined barrel. It will last forever. You will not be able to shoot it out, okay? And the uh, magazine you're talking about, Shotgun News, uh, has a lot of parts. Uh, Sarco is probably the biggest uh uh, supplier of parts for that gun. It's a great gun. They work real well. And that chrome line barrel, they won't rust when you shoot that corrosive ammo through it. Right on. And and that's a, it, see that's that's why we come to Dan right here at AZ Firearms. He he knows. I thought you'd be I thought you'd be t- caught up with the East German gun. I did. I really did. <laughs> see, just keep proving me wrong. Let me ask you this because because we're talking about gunsmithing. So I I have a question. It's my show. I can ask him. Doggone it. I, I've heard because I'm, I'm, you know, getting, you know, my kids, my kids are young and they're getting into hunting. They're small. My kids are tiny. I want a deer rifle that they can shoot. And people are telling me to get a 270 and put a break in it. What does put a break in it mean? It will reduce the recoil of the gun. But what is that though? What, what, what is that? It's at the end of the barrel. It okay. has holes in it and it reduces the recoil of the gun. Right. Um, I don't know how the uh, technical, how that works, but it does reduce it. I wouldn't go with the 270 to start them out with. Okay. I'd start them out with the 223 or 243, six millimeter, something like that. And it's a great deer gun for Arizona, for, sm- you know, the smaller deer. Right. I, I would, I love the Remington 600 to 660. They're really small, great gun to start out with. So I would get a six millimeter or two forty three, and not worry about a muzzle break and all that. But even with a muzzle break, it might be something that they can grow into. In somebody that might be looking to get their kid into a gun, and maybe they have one. Is it easy to is it easy to put a break onto a gun? I don't install brakes. I guess I I will start because I said I can do anything. Yeah, and I have done it before. And I'm bringing my gun to you, so, <laughs> so I, you better so, start, so I guess, man. I guess I do do them, but uh, <laughs> you know it it runs. I would say it runs probably around $150 plus the brake to put them on a gun. Okay. So when you look at what it costs to put them on and you think about other alternatives, you know, I don't know if it's necessary. But if that's what you want to do, we'll do whatever you want to do. Okay. And and I'm going to – we had a text come in to 411923. Um, I even know the answer to this, but I'm going to let you do it. You're, you're here, boss, so we go for it. Um, how much does a background check cost and how long does it take? Well – that is a question that I can't answer for the other gun shops, but if you come to our gun shop, the background check is free. Okay. And that that is, you know, you're going to buy a gun from us. You're gonna, we're going to do a background check. If you don't pass the background check, we're not going to charge you for that. Some shops do. And it's it's instant normally. If we can't get a response from the government, then it could be uh, uh, three days. At the okay. Most. could be up to three most. days. Right. 30 seconds. Tell us where you're at again today. Get, let them know. We are at the Crossroads Gun Show, which is at the fairgrounds. We are at the Desert Dog Regional K-9 Trials at the Goodyear Ballpark. And we are also at the Soldier's Best Friend Clay Shoot at Ben Avery Shooting Range. Our pals at AZ Firearms. Hey, uh, Dan's going to stick around, by the way. If you want to text into 411923, he's going to be answering questions uh, throughout the hour and maybe a little bit after the show as well. So any questions, comments you have uh, for Dan Todd from AZ Firearms, he's going to get to those via text 411923 coming up next you ever been worried about preparing game meat how about fish 
that you caught. Chef Eddie Matney's got your answers. He'll even take your calls at 602-277-5827. Chef Eddie Matney of Eddie's House, next.